So I'm now realizing that I'm going to struggle with vlogging with like my hand and trying to carry stuff at the same time. And it, for some reason it feels worse than if I had a good leg. Um, but what I'm trying to do is I'm going to uh, continue editing some footage, um, but I want to bring my uh, ice, I guess, device thing with me. And I was trying to figure out how I'm going to do it in one trip. And as I'm looking at all the stuff and saying it to you, I'm realizing that I'm not going to be able to do that. So um, I get to take two trips, which if anybody knows anything about gym memes, that's really forbidden. No, I hear rumbling above me. The uh, roofers are here, apparently. Or else there's somebody walking on my roof. Ah. All right, got everything into my office, and my desk is kind of a mess, and my office is also, eh, actually it's not that bad. But here's kind of the setup we got working on here. So this is the ice pad that will be kind of affixed to my leg. That's the actual device. I'm very happy with myself that I put in that, uh, yeah, don't mind my cable management, it's trash. Uh, but I put in that power strip so I could plug it in without having to kind of hurt myself. And then my foot is going to go on top of this dining chair uh, with a pillow on top just for a little bit of extra height. How do I get my foot all the way up there? Um, with this thing. In my last video I showed a brief clip of the occupational therapist. Um, I, God, I still feel so bad I don't remember her name because she was so good. Uh, but she taught me how to use this thing. This is a, there's like a big... Like, I guess you can bend it, but there's a big, I don't know, rod thing in here. And this is pretty, pretty stable. So you just kind of hook your foot and pull on it and pick your foot up. So I have my desk a little higher than normal, like a lot higher than normal, just so I can, you know, move my foot around and I can scooch myself in if I have to. But um, this is essentially what it is. Okay, so we have foot. It's going to go up there, but because I can't use my quad, um, we hook it with this thing and we pull back on it and he remains in full extension and we bring the foot around there we go and there it is one of the things I had noticed over the course of know, the first handful of days using this this ice machine quote unquote is that nothing got cold unless it was pretty much right on my skin now I'm supposed to keep everything as clean as humanly possible and they only ever taught me to do it with all of the wrappings on my leg. Um, of course, like around the big brace, but with the ace bandage and the, the gauze wrap and the gauze pads on top of the, the, the incision site. But as you can see, um, I'm going to kind of actively not listen. And it's not because I don't think their, their hearts are in the right place or their minds are in the right place or what they're telling us is correct, because I do. The problem is, if I'm going to ice my leg, I would like to get some benefit from the actual cold therapy. And if my leg doesn't get cold while I'm, you know, spending an hour, hour and a half just sitting here icing my leg, then what's the point of it all? So I actually take off all of the wrappings. I leave on the gauze um, just to make sure it's this, the, the incision is covered. Um, and I make sure that nothing is getting wet. But other than that, I, I, I have to have stuff like off of it or else it just doesn't get cold. You know, like it's, it's one of, I forget who in the hospital said, well, it's, it's colder, it's a little bit colder, right? Like, yeah, but like, it's the difference between being in your house at 72 and being in your house at 68. Like, who cares? So I want to actually like make it cold. So we remove all this and we'll get, uh, get all this stuff sorted out. All right, now we are cooking. So here is the injured knee and a Really bright light from that light, but I've got the device on it. You can kind of see that you can, yeah, you can kind of see that there's some gauze covering the actual incision. I over covered the incision just in case anything slips. I don't want to take any risks there. Um, I've got wraps keeping it where it needs to be, and the only thing I need to do to turn it on is just plug it in. Not sure if you can hear that, but I can already feel it getting a little bit tighter here as the ice water kind of starts flowing through. In that box, it's about probably 70% ice by volume, 30% water by volume. It'll melt. It's not the best insulated thing, but I had it on last night for about an hour and there's still a ton of ice left. So it's also not the worst insulated thing. So I'm going to sit here and get some work done and hopefully get rid of some of this swelling and edema because I'm sick of it.
girl. You look a girl. Get your medical supplies out of here. <laughs> Kira's been working her ass off all day and all week. Uh, mostly taking care of me and making sure the house still runs appropriately. So she made us breakfast. I have four eggs and a piece of toast. She has, I'm gonna guess, two eggs and a piece of toast. I'm very smart. I just finished uh, icing my knee for about an hour. And every time I pull it off, there's just like dents. So I sent it, the, the picture to her. I'm not gonna put it on YouTube because I don't know who's watching and I don't know who's gonna think it's gross, but probably most people. It is gross. Yeah. I'm a doctor. <laughs> Every time I finish one of those like ice treatments, I feel like it gets worse because when I put the brace back on, I have to like extend some of the straps. But like theoretically, it makes it better and it reduces the swelling because I can see all the dents that it puts in there. I don't know. I don't even I don't even know if it's helpful, but initially it would have been much more helpful, but I didn't get this device until like day 2 and I didn't think to like take most of the covering off of my like all the wrapping stuff off until like day five. Kira went to the grocery store. You went to the grocery store, right? Uh-uh. No, hasn't gone to the grocery store yet, but went to the dog food store to get more dog food because these we guys eat a, a lot. And we ran out. We and always guess wrong. Well, the thing is eat. like we have four dogs and we get four bags of food per four weeks. So a bag per week. I feel like they don't eat that much. For, yeah, but I, I feel like they don't eat that much for how big they are. It's a great sandwich. Yeah. The mayo, really. Didn't you used to make fun of me for putting mayo on, on eggs? Seems like something you'd do. No. Yeah. Like make fun of me, just I've in general. converted to a fan. Yeah. Bergy had one bone. Like in between his legs, he's like laying down flat. Here, let me show you. So Bergy had that bone that's in the middle of his legs. He's been chewing on it. And then he's like, oh, that other bone looks kind of nice. So he was just booping his nose towards it, but. Decided maybe it was too far away. <clears throat> Please don't get up. It's okay. That bread is so good. What is it? Huh? What is it? Um, something your mom bought. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Bread. <laughs> we never buy bread, so when we get it, it's from Mike's mom. Yeah, seriously. It's like she Does doesn't eat all of it. Yeah, she doesn't believe in a house that doesn't have bread in it for some reason. She's Italian. Yeah. Like bread's not evil. The problem is, I don't have the discipline to eat not much of it. So good. Mom. Oh. Ask your mom if she wants Millie. <laughs> about, about a year ago, their, um, their black lab died. And it was a bummer because it was like her dad's best friend. He was a good dog, but he was like old and sick. His and name was Brick. His name was Brick. And he looked like a Brick. So we actually got her mom a new black lab puppy. Um, and. I named him Morty because of Rick and Morty, but Brick and Morty. And we wanted a name that was similar to Brick. He looks exactly like him too. Looks looks the same. I, I didn't really know Brick that well as a puppy puppy. Because I think we had just, like when we had just met, Brick was almost one. It feels like forever ago. I know. We knew each other when you guys got eye on. I don't remember that. I thought we got eye on when I was in college. No. How old are you? I don't know. <laughs> no, they, so her mom used to train, or still does technically, um, leader dogs for the blind. And sometimes they fail for one reason or another. They got a golden retriever, I think not long after we had met. It was a long time ago. It was like 10 years ago. She's nine now. Yeah. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. Nine, nine and a half. Yeah. Because yeah, we've known each other for, we've known each other for 10 years and almost two months now. And I guess Brick would have been 10. Yeah. I am going to Whole Foods to get salmon for our dinner tonight. We're going to make salmon harissa or harissa bowls. I got the recipe from One Balanced Life. I like her recipes a lot. You can see I wave at everybody because I'm from the Midwest and I was taught that you wave and say hi to everybody on the street. Then I met Mike and he's from the East Coast and for most of the part we been in in Florida as all East Coasters and nobody's decided anybody. So here I am just trying to wave at everybody and nobody's trying to wave back. Anyway, that was a terrible trip to Whole Foods. 
that's dramatic, but I hate being in public. Um, that's why Mike and I work so well together is because we both don't really have much social drive. And so we like just hanging out at our house and we like making our house be the place that we like being at. So I went into Whole Foods. I didn't want to film anything because I hate filming around people. And then I got my stuff. I checked out. I realized that I forgot some things and then I had that awkward moment where I either I keep my bag and I go back and then, or do I take this up to the car? So anyway, I took this up to the car, um, put it in the car and then I went back. I had to grab two more things and I ended up grabbing four more things. I checked out again. I hate it so much. I think everybody's watching me and I'm really, no one's probably watching me, but I had to wear this bright pink sweater in today and so I just felt like I stuck out like a sore thumb. And this is why I hate going in public. I forgot to mention that the reason why I'm filming so much is because Mike can't go anywhere or do anything. And so we're living vicariously through me or we have to load him up in the back seat like a seal. And so um, he's not coming for now. And so now I'm just filming everything, which is super fun. Marcia, that'd be a lot cooler if that pool floaty thing was in the pool. But uh, here you are. Yeah, our house is a zoo, it's fine. What, what's with the burning? <laughs> Kyria says she wanted to make They're Italian, Italian subs, so. but it looks like she's making a pepperoni salad at the moment. What do you think goes in an Italian sub? Like a marshmallow. I don't know what pepperoni salad is, but... <laughs> Marsha just sunbathing. <laughs> And then Millie's like, um, can somebody let me in with the food? The roof is almost done. Yeah, there's a big giant truck out front that I didn't know was here. Hopefully the roof is done today. I think the roof is gonna be done today, knock on wood. We would like our construction phase to be done with. Yeah, I would like to be able to like park a car in my driveway and not worry about it getting smashed. I don't think you've said I work seven days out of town. I'm gone seven days a week. I think I mentioned it, but Kiri's work schedule is like, she works overnight. 12 hour shifts, seven days in a row, and then she's off for seven days in a row, which is kind of a classic internal medicine attending schedule, but it's kind of a pain in the ass for her to switch back and forth from nights back over to days, back to nights, back to days. Yeah. But she has a, a small apartment up there, so she doesn't have to like drive home every day, but we, may, we might get rid of it. Just because like she misses being part of everybody here and if I'm in my office, which is on the other side of the house, then, and theoretically we don't have people coming to the house and working all the time, the dogs won't bark that much. One day all. in our lives. Yeah, one day, not anytime soon. But the drive is like the same as the drive that I made every day in Nashville. Like yeah. somewhere between 30 and 45 minutes. Hers is closer to 45, mine was probably closer to 30. But at the same time, it's like, if yeah. it's just, it, it, I don't know. If it's a few thousand bucks a month that isn't necessary, then meh. And like when she gets off work, she's wired for, you know, she goes home, takes a shower, like makes some food, does a load of laundry, and then goes to sleep. Look at that. <laughs> this looks like a mess of. It's Italian. They have all the stiff those are. What are they made of? I don't really know a lot of free things, so I don't know. Why did you buy these? I just want them to be big. Whole Foods really doesn't have much tortilla selection right now. Uh, paleo, non-GMO, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, and vegan. Not that I have any particular problem with any of these, like by themselves, but I probably wouldn't go out of my way to get any of this stuff for myself. Hmm. There's a little too much wrap, but it's okay. Yeah. I mean, it's springy, which is what I was, I thought it was just gonna dissolve in my mouth, like, I don't know, sand. Right before I started recording again, she said, what did you say? Like, we're have, gonna have to make new ones or something? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably still will. <laughs> we got a lot left over. Yeah, with like the better wrap thing, yeah. We're not opposed to doing, like, eating anything really. We don't really restrict our diet in any way. Yeah, in either direction too, like if something is like super duper healthy and vegan or whatever, we won't say no to it just because it's super duper healthy and vegan or whatever. 
if it's like, if it sounds good, then sure, why not? The thing with like our diet is if, like Kyria has a piece of chocolate like every single night after dinner. Mm -hmm. It's just like a, her thing. And when my mother is in her moods, she will bring dessert every single time she comes over here. Kyria eats most of it. I'll eat like two servings, everybody else will have one. <laughs> if, if any, like my dad probably won't have anything. I'll probably taste it. My mother will try to make herself feel better about having half of it, but your has like three of them. But I think we just try to like, for the most part, we think of meals and we try to create like a healthier version of it. At least that's what I do for us. Yeah, that's what she does. What I do is eat the same thing every day. Unless she wants to make a new meal and then she'll make it for both of us. But if she doesn't and wants to do like, I don't know, her leftover something that she made earlier, I can make my own thing that I've made 45,000 times before and enjoy and be happy with that. There we go. Before we get back to our uh, regularly scheduled day of mostly just icing my leg. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> we got these, uh, Kira got them on, on a kind foods. of a, yeah, at Whole Foods, but on kind of a whim, right? Well, you wanted frozen fruit and they didn't have your frozen fruit. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, um, if Whole Foods has it, the tropical fruit medley that I've mentioned before, I eat a lot of it. I'll have like one giant bag, like almost per day, and sometimes more than that per day. Mm -hmm. But they didn't have it, so Kyrie got frozen mangoes that are still on there, but then she also got these like frozen fruit pops. This one's an orange, like creamsicle. Yeah, it's 90 calories each. Um, this is just, this one's just pure lime, mm -hmm. and it's 50 calories. Which is like not the most filling thing, but it's... It hits that dessert craving. Yeah, I mean, it, it yeah, it's, and it's very refreshing, and it's like, I don't know, you feel... At least I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm hitting the like the the sweet craving hard enough that I, like I don't need to go raid the fridge for something super calorie heavy, especially at night, which is where I always struggle. So like I'll, I'll take 50 calories, and I say this to people all the time, like schedule your stuff. Like I'll take 50 scheduled calories in addition to my baseline versus like 450 unscheduled calories every other day, which is way better for you in the long run anyway. So. Can I try that? I thought you already did. I've never had this. Oh. I don't know if I like lime though. I like key lime pie. Yeah. <laughs> you like, she like handed it to me like this. Like completely. I don't like that. Why not? Too sour? Yeah. No. When we were in, funny. when we were in uh, the Keys, when were we there? Like f three years ago? Four years ago? No, January. 2021. Oh, okay. All right, so two and a half years ago. We were down the Keys, and we, of course, we're in the Keys, we get key lime pie, and of course, the ones that I like are like the super, <laughs> excuse me, Marsha? Holy crap. <laughs> of course, the ones that I like are the super tart, sour ones, and the ones that she like are the not tart, super sweet ones, the candy tasting ones. Mm -hmm. They had key lime pie and a popsicle, too. Would win. Yeah. All right. Back to our regularly scheduled day. Almost dinner time, and Kyrie is, well, just stepped away from slaving over the hot stove. She's like, oh, what are you doing? It's like, what are we doing today? Making salmon harissa. <laughs> harissa? I think it's harissa, but maybe it's harissa. I don't know. The base is really just edamame, cucumbers, and white rice. Mm -hmm. And then the good stuff on top. Salmon. What did you say? Salmon is what's for dinner. I had to change it a little bit. Very hot. <laughs> I, Beef. I, I think what she's talking about is uh, the skit in the office where <laughs> Michael Scott is making steaks on his George Foreman grill upon which he grilled his foot. Yeah for uh, Bob Vance of Vance Refrigeration's bachelor party. Yeah. What I don't think she understands is I'm pretty sure it's an old Wendy's commercial. Is it? No, that was Where's the Beef. I don't know, I'll figure it, I'll figure that out. Uh, yeah, he got it from someplace else. I don't know. He's, he's not, Michael Scott is not the, the sharpest of, of, of gentlemen. If it was just me, like I said, it would be very plain, very simple, very quick, but Kyrie, Likes doing this stuff. I love I, doing it. I routinely tell her she doesn't have to, so if you're watching this and you're going to be a troll and say that I make my wife do all this cooking, I do not. She does it 
Thanks. You're gonna get me like arrested or something. Like, the mob is gonna show up at our house and be like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Nothing. I can't walk." What the hell, are you big moron, breathing hard for? Oh right, you just ran. Like thirty steps, but whatever. Hello, friends. Honestly, that's kind of a full day of eating for us. Uh huh. It's not well, like. I don't know what dessert yet. Well, I'm not sure what else I'll have after this. I'll probably have another popsicle. To be honest with you. <laughs> I'll have. She used to make this with like, you just call them salmon bolts. It was like, I think it was like all of the things she does popular on TikTok for a while. But it was like sweet chili sauce and. But I like put my little tweak in it. Mm. But it was, um, they'll show it sometimes. It was delicious. Tasted like salmon. That was my salmon. Like I said, I create things that are, I guess, they, sushi. Yeah. Sushi's not unhealthy, but. Take that and I create my own version of it. Don't think that you have to eat this complicated of a recipe to be like healthy and have it be good for you. Cause like I would get rice, ground beef, and a frozen and frozen vegetables and throw it in a giant pan and cook it and then season it and then eat it. Alright, what do we got here? It's a salted caramel rice cake. And then I made apples, a bunch of leftover apples in the crock pot with a little bit of brown sugar and cinnamon, and then some oats at the last minute. And then it's, that's it. That's my dessert. And it's delicious. Are you going to have a piece of chocolate as well? Yeah, probably after. <laughs> <laughs> but I always eat chocolate. Every day. Makes the world go round. Yum. Uh oh. What? Curie is in the magic can pantry. I have, I'll show them. These are my current <coughs> obsession. Tony's. Tony's. Milk chocolate, which I don't think I meant to get that one. I don't really like milk chocolate. Chocolate chip cookie. And then everything bar. So good. What's in the everything bar? Caramel puzzle. Almond nougat and sea salt. So good. Yum. I just have a few pieces. That's it, that's our day of eating. I'm gonna finish my apple, and then I'm gonna have another popsicle. I think I'm gonna go for the orange grits cool one though. Uh, I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided yet. Mm. Yeah, that's our day. That's all. A lot of video I'm editing today. You're, you're over here. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of curate being awkward. I'm just, you're not filming, you're too tall. I'm outside the thing. I mean, I'm not sure what else I can do. Yeah. Grow then, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Just put your, like, spike your hair straight up. No. Why not? No. It's like a flag. No. All right, All well. Right. She's gonna go be awkward on the couch or something, I don't know. Elsewhere? Yeah. Oh, I gotta ice my leg again. Edema and dents and stuff. Okay, goodbye. See you next one. <laughs>